Are you a student in grades 9 through 12 looking for scholarship money for college? Have you ever considered the National Merit Scholarship Competition? My name is Steve and I'm from College Express and today I'll be going through the process and how you could obtain a National Merit Scholarship. The National Merit Scholarship Competition is a national academic competition that puts students against each other to gain recognition and qualify for scholarship money for college or universities based on their PSAT scores or the National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test. A student can take either one of these tests in order to qualify for the competition. In order to partake in the competition, there are some requirements that need to be met. First off, you must take the PSAT or the National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test while you are in high school, grades 9 through 12. You must be an enrolled high school student in the U.S. and you must either be a U.S. citizen, lawful permanent resident, or you are planning to become a citizen as soon as possible. From there, the National Merit Scholarship Corporation will calculate a cutoff score for these tests and then 50,000 students will be selected from that based on hitting the cutoff. In early September, those 50,000 students that were selected based on their test scores will be separated into two groups commended students and the semi-finalists. For those of you who were put into the commended section, I'm sorry, but this is the end of the road for that. You've been eliminated just because your scores weren't as high as those who were put into the semi-finalists. Fear not, you will get a letter of commendation from the company commending you for your academic promise. For those of you that were notified that you were part of the semi-finalist category, congratulations. You've moved on to the next portion of the competition. Uh, you are in the top 16,000 that made it out of the original 50,000 selected. But come February, another thousand will be weeded out for the top 15,000 will move on to the next round and be considered the finalists. But only half of those people will actually win the scholarship, roughly about 7.5 thousand. And those will be awarded come March through mid-June. If you made it to the finalist section, congratulations! You're one step closer to winning yourself a National Merit Scholarship. You only have to jump through a few more hoops. On top of the requirements that was stated earlier in the video, one, you're going to have to show that you've had high academic performance throughout your high school career. You're going to need a principal's recommendation or from someone that the principal designated to write the recommendation. And on top of that, the last thing you need to do is very simple. Just complete the application. After all that's said and done, basically you're just waiting until March to mid-June to hear if you won one of the three types of scholarships. Congratulations, you won a National Merit Scholarship. You should be very proud of yourself. But which one did you actually win? There are actually three types of National Merit Scholarships. The first being the National Merit Scholarship itself, which is awarded by the state, and it's a one-time $2,500 scholarship that you can use for a year at school. The second is a corporate sponsored National Merit Scholarship, which is a four year scholarship that has to be renewed every year, but you must meet these certain guidelines. A, you must be a child of an employee of the company, B, part of the company's community, or C, be a finalist that has career plans that are related to the company. The third one would be a college sponsored merit scholarship which is awarded to you by the college you are going to attend. But the college must choose you in order to get that scholarship. This scholarship can be renewed every year, all four years of undergrad. If you like this video, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. Also click the bell button if you want to know when the next video goes live for a notification.